<laughs> okay, now we're recording. You can go. <laughs> Excited to have everybody here today. Excited to have Brady Quitch Purdue. Uh, amazing four years. I think Coach Borgman's uh, excitement will agree to that. I've got a few comments from uh, Coach at Purdue. He says, I'm mean, beyond excited to have Brady commit to Purdue track and field. <clears throat> like all collegiate and professional athletes, all aspiring high school athletes had their winter and sports season cut short. This spring, athletes like Brady will, will not have the chance to run for a league, regional, state, or national championship. Missing out on those opportunities is very difficult. It takes kids, coaches out of their normal routine. <clears throat> Eventually, their routine will be back to the new normal. <clears throat> when the time comes this fall, Brady will be walking around Purdue's campus knowing that he has a bright future as a Boilermaker track and field athlete. I know he's going to work harder than ever, push himself to new levels, accomplish new heights and distances, and also be a scorer in the Big Ten. His drive and commitment to do many extracurricular activities will help him focus on becoming the best decathlete he can become. Brady, we're so proud of you. Coach Borgman, Coach Woodworth, I know the – uh, agree to that and yeah, looking forward to a bright future from you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't heard that yet. So, yeah, there you go. We kept it a surprise. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of excited to have you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm excited to be there. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, thanks to everybody who could, you know, come out and make it a part of this. I know it's not the typical uh, signing day experience, but this is kind of the new normal. So is what it is um but uh, definitely exciting i mean i'm absolutely thrilled to be going where i'm going it was the perfect choice for me it's you know for an engineering kid it's hard to beat a technical college of you know produce caliber <laughs> and you know, also hard to turn on a big 10 offer for sure but you know i was also very thankful to have a lot of offers from a lot of different places and you know very thankful for all those other coaches that look towards me too but yeah i mean it's Definitely exciting, that's for sure. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I guess if I can get a couple of thank yous, too, out of the way, I mean, you know, kind of start with Mr. Balo. You've, you know, were the, kind of the first one there to get me started in all of this and running especially. I mean, took me away from my star football career in sixth grade. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, really, really grew into that body, you know. But, yeah, I uh, – yeah, you were really kind of the first one that really pushed me and was able to kind of see potential and that, you know, taught me how to work hard and, you know, kind of keep pushing for what I want to do and, you know, kind of to get me into my running career through cross country, especially that definitely transitioned into, you know, track in the spring and um, kind of had that year round flow going that had you helping me both sides. <laughs> right. Uh, Mr. Borgman, thank you for the same thing, getting into high school, being the first track coach that you know, I was really there and able to help and always, you know, I've, I've always said that uh, don't want to stop kids from trying anything. And I definitely think that was a big help because he never told me no to any of the events I wanted to do and try. And it was a big part of, you know, now I'm doing all of them. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I'm excited for sure. And, you know, thank you for always pushing me and pushing us hard through workouts. And, you know, all of my friends and all of our senior class can attend to that. Um, we're talking about it a lot and pretty bummed about missing the season, but it's all right. I mean, we're not the only ones, so it makes it a little bit easier, uh, you know, and Jordan, I think you were the one that uh, kind of brought up the idea of me trying a decathlon too. I think we were at like, what was it? Greater Greater Lansing. Lansing. Yeah. yeah. Out of roll meet in Greater Lansing. You're like, you're here for three events and you do all the ones that are the big ones in it anyway. So, you know, giving it a shot and had it not been for that. I don't know if we would have, you know, really looked <laughs> towards, towards, for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes Andy. Yeah. All right. Letting Andy in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and, um, you know, Brad and Andy, especially, you know, as he's joining in right now, but has been a big help for pushing me through, you know, one of the most technical events and, you know, really kind of helping me get started. Um, but then also, you know, getting even better and hopefully we can keep working a little bit this summer once things lighten up and get into that. But, you know, thank you to everyone who's been able to help me and be a part of this and kind of push through things and get me to where I am today. I'm thankful. Couldn't do it without, you know, all of you guys at one point or another in my life. So thank you, especially, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, Brady, I'd, I'd like to take a moment just to say it's just been a, such a pleasure to work with you. Uh, you're one of the most well-rounded young men that I have had the honor of teaching and coaching. Not only are you into athletics, you know, but your robotics, you know, band, uh, your artistic side. I can't put up a book fair without thinking about the great times that, you know, and you helped design that year's book fair. Uh, you've always been so respectful about the people that have made an in, impact and, and influenced you. Uh, you've always had a pay it forward approach and, uh, you know, it's just not practice. It's perfect practice. And that's why you're going to be a, a Boilermaker. Uh, congratulations, young man. Thank you. And I'd just like to interject, and Mal, you hit it right on the head. Um, in terms of a kid who is well-rounded, I can't think of another kid that has done so much in four years. Um, I don't know how you pack, pack it all in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from robotics to band to sports to being at games, and um, that's impressive. And to do it all at such a high level. Um, that, that is a really a testament to you, Brady, and, and both to you, Clinton Carey, for raising a man who – um, understands the value of hard work that has those abilities. Um, we're sure going to miss you, Brady. Um, you know, from a track standpoint, uh, being able to put you in anything, I mean, you probably could have done any of the 17 events. You probably wouldn't wanted to run the two mile, but you probably would have okay. gutted it out and just yeah. fine. Um, but literally, I don't think, I mean, shot put, discus, high jump, I mean, any of the fields, you, you can do any of those. Um, obviously being a, such a good hurdler and, you know, pole vaulter, holy cow, um, Purdue is getting a one special kid. Um, and, and I'm, we're going to be very sorry to see you go. Um, I know I'm going to be lost without you next year, um, <laughs> comes to, uh, doing the hurdles and things like that. Um, and just from a personal standpoint, I just want to thank you for, uh, the times when you were out at the pole vault pit and my son's out there. Um, you're one of his favorite kids and that. That was something that you did uh, for him, and that was a personal thing um, from a dad. I just want to say thank you. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll just add in there, uh, Brian and Mal, you guys certainly uh, describe Brady really well. And just as a – I just appreciate Brady's attitude, always positive. Uh, it doesn't matter what day. Maybe he's not jumping that great today, but that doesn't really affect his attitude, and that is a huge reason why you are where you are, um, because you don't allow the small setbacks to hold you back. You continue to push through, uh, always looking on to the next thing, and um, it's just been great. It's been uh, wonderful to coach you, Brady, and I wish you all the best. I feel absolutely horrible for this season for you. I was really looking forward to uh, – just a great season and uh, really excited about seeing you uh, jump and run. Uh, I was just totally bummed, um, you know, for, for the other kids too, but for in my mind, especially you. So good luck. Uh, you're going to have a great time in Purdue. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I can interject. Um, I think when I was uh, thinking about what to say, uh, the idea of uh, raw to refined came up. Um, and I, I think I still have a video of those first few high jumps that you did. Um, and uh, very, very raw comes to mind uh, <laughs> for raw potential. Um, and then watching over, I mean, really just a year of high jump, um, already refined skill at this point. So I think that uh, goes to show, and I think that's evident in a lot of the other events that you participated in um, potential early on and then very refined skill. Um, I think that's the difference between uh, a smaller school and a Big Ten school. So congratulations. Thank you. Who's next? Do we just whoever? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Brandon. Well, I, I yeah, I had five pages of uh, speech already here, and uh, but kind of I wasn't sure who else was going to be speaking. So um, anyway, uh, there's many thoughts, and uh, 
many memories of Brady growing up and, and always very proud of him. Um, so I, I, uh, I wish you the best. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. And uh, I agree Purdue is getting a, a, a well-rounded young man that uh, they will now be proud of as, as we all are. So we love you. Wish you the best. We love you guys too. Thank you. I think Brad's trying to unmute himself. You figured it out, Brad? <laughs> you want to say anything? I can unmute him, maybe. Yep. All right, Brad, you're good. Yep, you're good. Maybe. No, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> I heard him for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Try the chat. Let's see if it's in the chat. Am I supposed to say something? I guess. Yeah, go ahead, Papa. <laughs> well, over the years, I could say a lot of things about Brady. And not just his great sports, his academic, and as good as he's done on everything he's done, but even working. I've worked with him a lot of times in different things, and he just, he's a go-getter. It's okay, Bob. <laughs> he works better for you than me. <laughs> that, that's, what you, that's what you keep saying, but I don't believe it. <laughs> believe it. <laughs> I miss having him around all the time. No more farm camp, Papa. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Brad said so his microphone isn't working. Uh, congratulations on your big day. I enjoyed coaching you the past couple of years. As a 4 10 track and field athlete, I can ensure you the next four to five years will be a blast for you. Work hard and enjoy every moment because it goes by quick. Trust your coaches in the process. Take advantage of all the resource offered to you as a student athlete. You'll do great. Pretty good advice, how to beat that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, Brady, i just like to add, and we, I miss you for a lot of years, just had this last year with you, and you may, may have had you for one year as an eighth grader, but I know just um, not only what everybody's saying about you right now as, from an athlete standpoint and a personal standpoint, um, just having you in the building as a leader uh, within our building and all the different organizations that you were a part of and that you touched on, um, again, whether it's robotics or it's the band or whether it's athletics or even student section, it really didn't matter. Wherever you were at, you were a great leader. Um, and a great student to have in our building. And, and hopefully in my years to come, I have several more um, to try to live up to um, some of the, the heights that you, you achieved, again, in all of those different arenas. You're the, you're the type of student and the type of person that we need in our buildings um, to, to keep them heading in the right direction. Uh, we can have all of the, uh, all the administrators, teachers, and adults in our building trying to push things in the right direction, but it's students. Um, it's student leaders who really uh, make a building move in a positive direction. And so we're going to miss that from you. Um, and I wish I would have a chance to spend a little more time with you uh, this spring uh, as you, you were heading into your, your true sport and to, to see you work. Um, so uh, congratulations, and we'll definitely miss you uh, around the building for sure. Thank you. Yeah. It's going to be – it'll be weird, that's for sure, you know. Been everything behind coming from a small school to you know now disappearing into a crowd of forty thousand kids, but fifty thousand, fifty thousand, yeah, yeah. But no, I'm I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it, and you know, thank you again to everybody who's a part of it, and you know, be it academically or athletically, and to everything else that you know we got to see and help me through, and so yeah, I'm definitely very thankful for you know. You guys as well for you both carting me around everywhere till I could drive and showing up to <laughs> meets and even the ones you didn't have to be at or we went to all the indoor meets and stuff and driving the hour and a half, two hours away to different colleges and stuff. So you know, it's time you don't get back. But. <laughs> yeah, I thank you for it. So. You are 
our pride and joy. Um, I knew I could do this without crying. <laughs> it's, it's not time lost, it's time gained and time invested. And you are our one and only. <laughs> and we love you very much. And we are so unbelievably proud of you and all that you've done. Um, given all the times that I would complain about, are you busy again? When are you going to be home for dinner? Can I cook a meal finally? When are we going to get to do this? Do we have to be involved in all these things? It was just because we missed you. I missed you. And, but you know what, Brady? It's all been so worth it in the end. And I just, I just know you're going to just do great. And you're going to grow. And you're going to learn. And you're going to meet people. And this is just another chapter in your life. And there's going to be many beyond that. And you, you're going to be fine. And we love you. And God loves you. And you have a whole support network behind you. So take it take every chance you can and make the most of it. You know, from standpoint of a dad and a coach, um, outside of baseball, Brady was a pretty good kid to coach. We did not see each other in baseball for sure. Um, but uh, in everything else, whether it was basketball or track or anything else, I threw my hat into the ring. It was, um, it was been, uh, you know, I've always been of that mentality that if you can make your team better, you can make your kid better. And Al and I talked about this this morning. And, um, you know, it was one of those things that I knew absolutely nothing about cross country and went in and, you know, helped him for half a dozen years, maybe. Oh, uh, at least. And, uh, you know, and then picked up coaching winter track and tried to get kids around him. So, you know, you can go to different things and see – other coaches and meet other programs and see other facilities and open the door to um, what was out there. And be between the camps and the contact with other coaches, um, you know, you just don't know where you'll end up. If we didn't go to camp at Central Michigan, we never would have ended up at Purdue, at least not with a coach interview that was, you know, we had a name and somebody told us to get a hold of Coach Garnum at Purdue and go talk to him and Bryant Wilson at Central was that guy and we only got there because we were at his Monday night camps over the winter the last two years so um, you never know who you meet in this uh, world track is a very small community um, but a very helpful community and um, I want to thank John and Lauren our Purdue drop guests okay. that we had um, when they came up to play Michigan State two years ago they needed housing for the band they stayed with Okemos kids and Marie Moreland, of all people, was in charge of that. And we called Marie and or texted her and said, hey, can, do you have to be from Okemos to host a kid? No, I don't know. I'll find out. So we ended up hosting two drumline engineers um, that gave Brady an introduction to Purdue. Our first visit down there, he got to stay with them on campus. Um, and then, you know, six months later, we got the ask from the coach to come down for his official, which blew all our minds, honestly. Um, Ed was probably one of the most fun days in this, uh, in the whole recruitment thing. But, you know, from the coaches we met at Grand Valley, at all of the coaches around Michigan, uh, UMass, um, the other smaller schools that had great programs outside of engineering that would have been another great choice for him. Um, it's, it's been a ride. I think I want to write a book. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not going to stop me wanting to coach uh, – kids over the winter and Brian, I'll be there to help out wherever, as always. Um, um, very, very proud of this boy. We've been putting in the hours, even though we can't get outside much um, and trying to get uh, some vaulting and well, heck you threw a uh, shot PR last night. So um, we'll keep going on that and uh, working as we can um, try to find a better place to long jump, but uh, <laughs> um, you know, we'll, we'll head up to Ovid or something for that. But uh you know, it's just one of those things that the, the drive is there and um, he's doing a workout every day and getting ready to go. And we're just proud of what he's put in and going to be glad to see him in West Lafayette, whatever it looks like this fall. And uh, he's got a great coaching staff to go to down there. They are absolutely super people. Um, he knows a few people on campus already and you got triple X burgers and root beer. So we're good. To <laughs> but I still say go green. <laughs> <laughs> Should be doing 20 laps around the lake every day for exercise. 
Oh, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I have one last comment and um, that comes to mind. And when I think about young people succeeding as Brady has, I remember telling our daughters, or rather years ago, uh, well, I told my daughters a lot of things. We won't get into that. <laughs> um, but uh, people used to say, how do, you, how do you do it? You meet yourself coming and going. You either got swimming practice or band practice or whatever. And I used to feel uh, that, hey, it beats the alternative. Uh, it's cheaper than bail bond. And I feel that same way. <laughs> you knew I was going to say it, Carrie. And, I did. Uh, <laughs> I, I, for 49 years, you've been saying that. I've been hearing so, it. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel, you know, very fortunate that our girls had the benefit of the Owasso school system after they had had a lot of issues. Okay. And Langsburg has done wonderful for Brady. I'm very happy and pleased that they have what they have for these young people. And he is definitely a product of that. So he is going to do well. I hope he doesn't take the bail bond comment serious. And, you know, <laughs> so, but anyway, proud of you, Bradster, and we're looking forward to enjoying the rest of your, your career down there. And your Grammy would be very, very proud. And she's watching you too. That's great. She'll be on the, on the sidelines. She'll be that woman that you can kind of always hear yelling and screaming yeah, and hollering yeah, yeah, with yeah, a cowbell. Yeah. With a cowbell like Sherry. Yeah. That, that's your Grammy <laughs> from heaven. <laughs> that's what happened to my hearing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll sign your form, buddy. All right. Let's see all that, you know, signature practice. Let's see if it works out. <laughs> yeah, he's been working on his signature. Ta-da. <laughs> Spelled Vox. Good job. Uh, and this is uh, Coach Elliott, the head coach down at Purdue, says, we're very pleased to provide you with this declaration to attend Purdue and to join the track and field program in the fall of 2020. We believe we see you in the makings of the best of the Boilermakers and someone we would like to build the future of this team. As such, we formally extend to you a place in next year's freshman class. By signing this, you confirm your commitment to Purdue's track and field program. You pledge yourself to upholding the highest ideals of our university and our team. At the same time, we pledge to you a definitive spot on our roster for the upcoming season and to construct a recruiting class with you in mind. Yay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for, for coming and spending this day. We, we imagined doing it in the gym, but this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for letting us be a part of it. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. It was nice. Very nice. Very nice. So Jason, what happens next, like from the school's end or from like, how does this, where does this go from here on your end? Anything? Uh, we'll definitely get a press release out to uh, LSJ and uh, definitely the Argus and get some uh, media out there. So proud of you, Brady. Tremendous. Uh, Success the last four years. It's been a pleasure. Wish you nothing, nothing but the best. We're definitely gonna miss you. Thank you and thank you again to everybody who's able to, you know, be a part of this today and help me out. You know, be it at any point in my life or with any of it and all of it, because you were, a lot of you guys were there for a lot of it or you know, and major parts in one way or another. So thank you very much. Our pleasure, son. All right, babe. All right. Thank you, everyone, again. All right. Over Stay safe. Now. Okay. Yep, bye. Bye. Bye-bye.